Facebook, Google and Microsoft, not paying enough tax in developing world. Here's a summary of the article. Google, Facebook and Microsoft should be paying more corporation tax in developing nations, says ActionAid. The aid charity estimates that poorer countries are missing out on up to $2.8 billion in tax revenue that could be used to tackle the pandemic. ActionAid is calling for new international tax rules that force big companies to pay a global minimum rate. Multinational corporations are currently not required by law to publicly disclose how much tax they pay in some developing countries. The aid charity wants to see a new global tax system created, preferably by the United Nations, whereby large corporations are required to pay a global minimum rate of corporate tax reflective of their real economic presence. The aid charity said its research showed that the developing nations with the highest tax gaps, from Google, Facebook and Microsoft are India, Indonesia, Brazil, Nigeria and Bangladesh. The $2.8 billion tax gap is just the tip of the iceberg. This research covers only three tech giants. But alone, the money that Facebook, Alphabet and Microsoft would be paying under fairer tax rules could transform public services for millions of people. This post received a score of 29,000, with an upvote ratio of 93%. Here are the top comments in response to this article. They don't pay enough tax anywhere. At least they pay enough salaries. Let's not forget about Amazon. Sorry for off topic a bit here, but I see this a lot here. Are you comparing Amazon's fulfillment center workers, who I agree seem to have really poor terms in general, with Google, Facebook, Microsoft software engineers, or similar salaries? Amazon seemingly pay their equivalent somewhat similar salaries to those companies from what I can find out? FAANG companies all compete on office salaries, it's just that it's only really Amazon that are so vertically integrated for hardware supply. They compete except when they collude to depress those salaries too. Most ignorant and uneducated Westerners have been convinced that legislation on companies is bad and stifles growth. While that might be true to an extent, it is also why, through social media, our democracy is for sale and why we all have toxins in our blood, why plastics are everywhere, why the ecosystem is collapsing and climate change is an unfolding disaster. Big companies have bought bribed corruptible politicians' puppets and those puppets lie to gullible voters so the companies can keep doing what they're doing. It starts and it begins with politics. Everything else is window dressing. What legislation would be needed? It's already illegal, and the companies involved had to pay restitution for the lost salary. Larger fines and jail time. Actual consequences to illegal practices. In a town I work at sometimes, the main employer has two lumber mills. Neither of these mills meet their obligation to environment, and are fined daily for it. The problem is this fine is low enough that they treat it as an operating expense, as that is cheaper than fixing the problem. Also as they are by far the biggest employers in the area, they cannot reasonably be shut down. Percentage fines or, and, if you want be really vicious, doubling fines. I particularly like doubling fines, because they reward business that react quickly to fix whatever the violation is, while scaling to, you are no longer permitted to exist, territory if someone tries that operating cost nonsense. Article very weak on details. How much earnings are they making in the developing world? Certainly not a lot compared to the developed world. They looked at corporate profits and divided it up using estimate user numbers by country. So dividing up Google's profit proportionately between America and Indonesia when Indonesians are much more likely to use ad block seems nonsensical. Pretending an Indonesian customer is generating as much revenue, buying Google services at the same rate as an American customer seems ludicrous. Maybe companies should be more transparent but right now ActionAid is just making a guess on how much more government revenue increasing taxes could generate. There's a reason they don't use dodge or avoid even though the BBC does. This video was automatically created by Reddit to speech. The article and comments in this video were selected from Reddit according to their upvotes, and any paraphrasing was performed by smmry.com, without any human intervention.